Sashin Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 13 da 16 da kuma wasu tashocin FM a wasu kasashen Afrika da kuma shafi mu na bbchausa.com Masauraro Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad ke muku sallama a cikin shirinmu na karfe 8 da rabi daidai a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato karfe 7 da rabi a gogon GMT da Ghana Rajiki shirin namu ne yanzu za ku ji cewa mataimakin shugaban kasar Amurka Kamala Harris ta zabi gwamnatin jihar Minnesota Tim Walls a matsayin wanda zai mata takarar mataimakin shugaban kasa a zaben watan Nuwamba. Kungiyar Hamas ta sanar da Yahya Sinwar a matsayin wanda zai mai gurbin Ismail Haniyya a bangaren ta na siyasa. A Najeriya ga mayar kungiyoyin arewacin Najeriya ta CNG Rashin Jihar Kaduna ta yi Allah wadai game da tarzuma da ta biyo bayan zanga zangar tsadar rayuwa. duk wadda cewa ta bukaci gwamnati ta dauki matakan da suka dace domin inganta rayuwar jama'a mu ba mu goyon bayan kalaman da hukumomi suka fada kuma ba za mu taba goyon bayan hakan ba su yi abin da ya dace amma mu kashe-kashen da ake yi da barnace-barnacen da ake a yankin mu na arewa shine muke dubawa to har wayo dai a Najeriya wata kotu a jihar Kano ta bayar da umarnin ci gaba da tsare wasu mutum sama da 600 wadanda ake zargi da tayar da tarzoma a lokacin zanga-zangar da aka gudanar a jihar irin laifofukan da ake tun wasu da aikatawa sun hada da shiga ta laifi wa haduwa dan aikata laifi sata keta ta hanyar sa wuta da sauran irin abubuwa dai wadanda suke na keta haddin mutane to za kuma mu je kamaru inda hukumar yaki da shan kwayoyi masu kara kuzari a fagen wasanni ta sanya da kasar cikin jerin kasashen da ba sa bin ka'idojin hana yan wasa amfani da kwaya amma duk wannan sai bayan Nabila Mukhtar Uba ta karanto mana labaran duniya. Mataimakiyar shugabar Amurka Kamala Harris ta zabi gwamnatin Minnesota Tim Walls a matsayin mutumin da zai mara mata baya a zaben shugaban kasa na watan Nuwamba. Ta tabbatar da zaben nata a shafin Instagram kuma ana sa ranganin sa tare inan gaba a gangamin yakin neman zabe a Philadelphia. He is seen as a contrast with Vice President Harris. A cewar wakilin BBC ana kallon Walls a matsayin wanda halin sa ya sha bamban da na mataimakiyar shugaban kasa Kamala wadda ta fito daga California. Mr. Walls dai tsohon malami ne kuma ana tunanin zai fada da goyon bayan jam'iyyar Democrats tsakanin fararen fata mazauna yankunan karkara. Hobishin yakin neman zaben Trump tuni yayi watsi da zaben na Mr. Walls. Kungiyar Hamas ta sanar da Yahya Sinwar jagoranta a Gaza a matsayin sabon shugabanta na sashen siyasa. Zai gaji Ismail Haniye wanda aka yi wa kisan gilla a Tehran babban birnin Iran a makon da ya gabata. Mr. Sinwar na cikin jerin mutanen da Isra'ila take nema ruwa a jallo. It accuses him of mastermind in the October the 7th attack. Wakilin BBC ya ce Isra'ila ta zarge shi da kitsa hararren ranar 7 ga watan Oktoba da suka halaka yin Isra'ila da yin kasashen waje 1200 sai wasu 250 da aka yi garkuwa da su. Yan sanda a Bangladesh sun tsindima yajin aiki saboda abin da suka ce karuwar hararren ramuwar gayya da ake yi kai masu. Kwana daya bayan da tsohuwar Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tayi murabus. sun ce ba za su koma aiki ba har sai an tabbatar da tsaron duka jami'an su The immediate need is to restore law and order Wakilin BBC ya ce bukata ta gaggawa ita ce mayar da doka da oda da kuma samun ikon kasar a yanzu wata sanarwa daga wata kungiyar yan sanda ta nemi abuwa kan karfin da aka yi amfani da shi kan masu zanga zanga a makon nan baya bayan nan rahotanni sun ce hankali ya kwanta a daka babban birnin kasar sai dai akwai rahotannin sace sace da kuma kashe kashe a sassan kasar to labaran na zuwa ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC wata tawaga daga kamfanin sarrafa nukiliya na Russia ta na, ta soma a ziyarar yini hudu a Burkina Faso inda take shirin gina cibiyar hada makamar nukiliya sojojin Burkina Faso da suka kwace mulki shekara biyu baya sun kulla alaka ta kudda kudda Russia Burkina Faso na shigo da makamashin da take amfani da shi daga Ivory Coast da kuma Ghana An yi kiyasin cewa kusan kashi 1 bisa hudu na al'umar kasar ne ke samun hasken wutar lantarki. Ministan makamashi na Burkina Faso ya ce yana fata ya rijijeniyar nukiliya da Russia za ta kawo maslaha ga bangaren makamashin kasar. Afrika ta kudace kadai kasar da ke da cibiyar makamashin nukiliya a Afrika. Wata kungiya mai sa ido kan bayanan Turkiya ta ce an toshe manhajoji fiye da 20 da ke tsare bayanan shiga internet wato VPN yayin da masu suka suka zargi gwamnati da hana yancin fadin albarkacin baki 
sanarwar da kungiyar fadin albarkacin baki ta fitar na zuwa ne kwanaki bayan da gwamnatin Turkiya ta haramta amfani da shafin Instagram bayan da aka zarge ta da goge sakonnin ta aziyar jagoran Hamas Ismail Haniye kafofin yada labaran Turkiya da ke goyen bayan gwamnati sun fitar da sakonnin gargadi game da illar amfani da VPN rautan nan sun ce manhajar da ke baiwa masu amfani da internet da murkauce wa haramcin na da babbar illa ga tsaro kuma ana iya satar bayanan masu amfani da ita to labaran duniyar kina to age da Nabila Mukhtar Uba da labaran duniyar to yanzu kuma sai rahotannin da muke tafi da su a cikin shirin kuma zamu fara ne daga Amurka inda mataimakiyar shugaban kasar Kamala Harris ta zabi gwamnatin jihar Minnesota Tim Walls a matsayin wanda zai mata takarar mataimakin shugaban kasa a zaben watan Nuwamba ana sara da za ta fitar da sanarwa a hukumance nan ba da jimawa ba ga rahotan Bilkisu Babangida ana sara mataimakiyar shugaban Amurka Kamala Harris za ta bayyana tare da shi a wani taron gangame a jihar Philadelphia ya da zangon su na farko a cikin ran gadin kwanaki hudu na jihohi masu zazzafar fafatawa gwamnatin jihar Minnesota Tim Walls tsohon malamin makaranta ne kana mai horar da yan wasan kwallon kafa wanda ake saran zai samu karbuwa a wurin ma'aikata da ke yankunan karkara yayi mutukar fice a shafukan sada zumunta a cikin watannin baya bayan nan wajen yin zindan yanayin tafiyar tsohon shugaban Amurka Donald Trump da mataimakin sa JD Vance babban abokin Mr Walls shine tsohon magajin garin birnin Minneapolis na jihar Minnesota RT Ryback wanda ya shedawa BBC cewa Tim Walls ya dace da tafiya da Kamala Harris the old fashioned way to look at a presidential campaign is to say somebody is from this state or that state and they'll deliver it yace tsohon yayin salon kallon tafiyar yakin neman zabe shine a ce wani ya fito daga wannan jiha ko waccan kuma na san za su kai labari wannan yakin neman zabe na kasa ne don haka abinda Tim Walls zai kawo na samun galaba shine babban abu yana samun nasuwa da jin dadi wajen tattaunawa da manoma da ya girma a cikin su kana ya shafa shekaru yana wakiltar manoman yana kuma jin dadin zama a cikin aji da kuma waje a cikin wurin shakatawa kuma wannan zai taka muhimmiyar rawa sosai tun da gaggawa tawagar yakin neman zaben Trump ta yi watsi da lamarin Mr Walls a matsayin mai tsatsaurar ra'ayi da hadari Yayin da yake jawabi a wani taron gangami a birnin Philadelphia Mr Vance ya soki matakin Ms Harris Tim Walts's record is a joke he's been one of the most far left radicals in the entire United States government Yace bayane game da koshin wane ne Tim Walls tamkar wani wasan kwaikwayo ne ya kasance daya daga cikin masu tsatsaurar ra'ayi a daukacin gwamnatin Amurka a kowane mataki amma ina ga zaben Tim Walls ya nuna cewa Kamala Harris ta mika kanta ga bangaren tsatsaurar ra'ayi na jam'iyarta wanda abinda ta saba yi kenan need to the far left of her party which is what she always does. Kuri'un jin ra'ayoyin jama'a sun nuna cewa Miss Harris ta cike gibin kuri'un yan jam'iyyar Democrat da Donald Trump tun bayan da shugaba Biden ya janye daga tsayawa ta karar a watan da ya gabata. To rahotan Bilkisu Babangida kenan. To a jihar Kano Najeriya kuma wata kotun tafi da gidanka ta bayar da umarnin a ci gaba da tsarewa su mutun sama da 600 wadanda ake zargi da tayar da mutsi da farfasa kaya da sata a tazuma da ta biyo bayan zanga zangar tsadar rayuwa an dai kafa kotun magistrate din ne guda uku a headquarters ɗan sandan Kano saboda iya gurfanar da wadanda ake zargi cikin gaggawa daga Kano ga karin bayanin da Zahara Dillawan ya aiko mana Gwamnatin Kano ta ce ta gurfanar da mutun 632 a gaban kotunan tafi da gidan naka uku wadanda kotunan magistrate ne yayin da yan sanda ke ci gaba da bincike akan tazoma da ta tashi lokacin zanga zangar tsadar rayuwa rana daya ga watan da muke ciki an gurfanar da su ne bisa tuhuma tuhuma da dama Haruna Isa Dederi commissioner shari'a na jihar Kano kuma babban layon gwamnati yayi karin haske irin laifuffukan da ake tuhuma su da aikatawa sun hada da shiga ta laifi wa haduwa don aikata laifi sata keta ta hanyar sa wuta da sauran irin abubuwa dai wadanda suke na keta haddin mutane da yawa daga cikin su sun musa dan su kuma daga cikin su sun amsa laifuffukan to alal hakika dukan su wadanda ainihin muka gurfanar tunda bamu gama baba gama ba tukuna kowannen su a yanzu haka yadda nake gaya yadda nake magana nan da kai to yana gidan gyaran hali kuma za a ci gaba da bin sawun shari'a har i zuwa ƙarshen ta kuma kowace irin dama da doka ta bawa wanda ake tuhuma ba wanda muka hana irin wannan damar wanda yake so ya dauko lawyan da zai kare shi zai iya daukowa kuma wanda yake misali ya musanta abinda ake zargin sa da aikatawa za a bashi damar kare kansa yana da wata kariya na tambayi Isa Dederi ko mai cece hikimar yin wadannan kotuna a 
Ahidu kwa tari ansanda sayechi. Sabwa dewa mwata nda aki tuhuma deng. Siya mwaka luiki etaba bar uh, jujin jahar kanu watu chief judge kena. Chewa me mwakwang iba nsuze kasa nchewa tu abu mewahala akaisu kutina awaje tu ita chief judge tasahali kutina nansi jesu samu mazawuni abu mpai deng enda gasu kusada wata nda aki wata nda aki zalada su deng. Kuma ata ama nchema na haka. Ndangaka kutina na nguda uku ya nzu. Sina nguda na da aiki nsine a uh, harabar head kwata yan sanda ta jihar Kano kazalika a commissioner shari'ar yace mafiyon wadanda aka gurfa na din yan kasa da shekara 20 ne kuma da dama ba yan jihar Kano bane babban abin takaici kuma shine kashi kusan 80 cikin 100 wadannan yara wallahi ba yan jihar Kano bane sun shigo ne daga wato jihohi daban-daban musamman jihohin da suka yi makwabtaka da Kano din to ya kamata al'umma su sa ido saboda shigowar wato ainihin baki a haka da wato tudadowar mutane zuwa cikin kanan nan to zai zamo barazana ga zaman lafiya ga jihar Kano idan ba a sa ido ba saboda da yawa daga cikin kayayyakin da aka kama to wadansu kuma masu kishi ne yan kanan wadanda suka dinga tonawa wadannan ba ta gari asiri har ta kai ga samo wadansu daga cikin irin kayayyakin da aka sace kotunan dai sun dage zaman sauraron wannan kara sai ranar 19 ga watan nan na Augusta dan ci gaba da shari'ar gwamnatin kanan dai ta tabbatar da cewa nan gaba za ta kafa wani committee bincike game da zanga zangar da ta rikide zuwa Tarzuma da sace sacen dukiyoyi da rasa rayuka dan tabbatar da adalci har yanzu dai babu cikakken bayani kan adadin mutanen da suka rasa rayukan su ko jikkata yayin zanga zangar kuma a kwana na shida da fara zanga zangar tsadar rayuwar yau a Kano masu zanga zangar ba su fito ba amma dai daga cikin kungiyoyin da suka shirya zanga zangar sun ce suna tattaunawa ne amma ba su jingine zanga zangar ba Zahara Dillawan, BBC Hausa, Daga Kano, a Nigeria. Tuwari ilayo di muna kambatun zanga zanga rita Nigeria inda gamayar kungyo yang ariwa chit Nigeria ta CNG reishan jahar kaduna. Te ala wade gamada yadda masu zanga zanga kanyana inyu wa da zahada rai wa achikin jahar da maka sabah iki daya. Sikap ata kayan jamaa luka chungu dana da zanga zanga. Kungyar di ta sana da chiwa batu kwe bayan yin zanga zanga batinda parku. Kuma bata kwe bayan kalamanda kwa. Hukumu minkasar sikai. Kwa mna saadu baku, shine shugabanga mayar kungyo yinta CNG a jahar kaduna. Nga kumakarim bayanin dewa Abdu Halilu. Mampetewa ni mana alihini ga waenda sika rasa wansu. Da kuma waenda ya wansu sika jikata. Da kuma alihini akan yada wasu batagari sika shugu chikim zanga zanga lamana. Sika dawu doka ahannansu sika chiga bada barna ta dukyo yung gomneti da dukyo yung aluma. Wanda takani da alla muamatai mana gamayar kunjo yung ariwa. Bama jida iba yanda zanga zanga ntata wakawa na nye na ying kuma ba awane mikyaw ga jahara mwataka duna kuma maka ba gwona shawar kam aduba halenda aluma siki chiki domen asa amusaw isa boda muta ina chikyong wanye na ina yungwa batara that's other rayuwa tunda farko ya ya kwenye kutasi nji taka liyi wana la marika fun faruwa shi aga sikia ayi unge mana gamayar unge yu ariwa bata yi kera aga kuwa ya shigaza nga zanga ba kuma ba ma shigaza nga zanga ba sabu da tagepe mu mwenye duku karinda zami do mwemo binti ka maganu wa endi sika sara ita wana nga zanga zanga ama atikin binti kia mwada bibia dama kai mwankasa ganu asali mwa endi sika sara zanga zanga do kuma amata yama na muta anewe ama sikia shi nga luma mu kulu mburu mshini ari wama tachiga ba baza ama doka kamu mshiga chikin abanda ba mpahimcheta ba dalili ndesa ba mshiga zanga zanga ba kiena kuma mu ba mchira kuwa ya pto zanga zanga ba ama da zanga zanga nta paro wakana mungkasa nchi mwana bibi yang al amuran zanga zanga mwana lura mwana lanja hanka lungwa ndia kama ata majadu min su tabatada ama zanga zanga nsike yi sibi ahanka li ba tarada ansa mu wana taashin taashin haba ya kuka jida wana lama rina zanga zanga banya faru wana awa da saka paru na karia duka da aka zo aka samu rashara sharrayuka da bata dukiyo yin al'umma da na gwamnati abu ne wanda bai yi makowa dadi ba mu ma a ta gefen mu ba mu ji dadin hakan ba ai sai yasa ga mun batar da takarda wanda muka nuna alhinin mu da rashin jin dadin mu akan abubuwan da suka wakana a cikin wannan zanga zanga game da yadda kake kalamai haka wasu za su ci kungiyar ku na gwamnati bayan gwamnati ne ko kuma kungiyar ta CNG ta gamsu da yadda lamura ke gudana a cikin kasar Nigeria a mu gaskiya ba wai mun gamsu 
bane da yanayin yanda abubuwa suke tafiya da kuma irin response din da hukumomi suka yi dan ka lura a cikin takaddamar man jawo hankalin gwamnatoci da su yi abin da ya kamata dan tsakani da Allah al'umma suna cikin wani yanayi na yunwa talauci da tsadar rayuwa wanda mu a kungiyance idan da kama a maida tallafin man a maida shi domin mutane su samu sauki a duba kuma yanayin farashin abubuwa yanda suka hau ayi kokari a sauke farashin amma mu kashe-kashen da ake yi da barnace barnacen da ake a yankin mu na arewa shine muke dubawa ba zai haifa ba da mai ido ba shawaran mu kenan to yanzu karfe 9 saurakota a Najeriya da Niger Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad ke gabata muku da wannan shiri daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC To gaba shirin dai muna tafi da labaran wasanni amma kafin nan bari mu nufi Kamaru inda hukumar yaki da shan kwayoyi masu karar kuzari a fagen wasanni ta sanya kasar ta Kamaru cikin jerin kasashen da ba su bin ka'idojin hana ɗan wasa amfani da kwayoyin a cikin wata sanarwa da hukumar ta fitar ta ce hakan ya biyo bayan cikar wa'adin wata hudu da ta ba kasar ta yi bayani ne game da damuwar da aka nuna kan saba ka'idojin amma kasar ta kasa yin haka kar hutun Umar Mikail Hukuma ta World Anti Doping Agency wato WADA ta ce tun a ranar 11 ga watan Maris na wannan shekara ne kwa mutun zartarwar ta yi amince da shawarwarin kwa mutun ta na sa ido kan bin ka'idoji mai zaman kansa cewa a saka hukumar kula da yaki da shan kwayoyi masu sako zari ta Kamaru cikin wadanda ake sa ido a kansu ta ce a bisa haka ne ta ba hukumar ta Kamaru wato NADO wa'adin watanni hudu dan ta awatar da wasu sauye sauye na yin gyara game da abubuwan da aka nuna damuwa a kansu Wada ta ce amma har zuwa cikar watan nun hudu a ranar 12 ga watan yuli kamar ba ta aiwatar da gyare-gyaren na bin ka'ida ba abin da yasa ta aiki wa kasar da sako domin an karar da ita game da cikar wa'adin hukumar ta ce a bisa ka'ida kamar na da wani wa'adin na watanni 21 daga ranar da aka aike mata da sakon na ta musanta ko amsa zargin na rashin bin ka'ida amma har ya zuwa cikar wa'adin na jiyar litinin kamar ba ta ce komai ba Hakan injita ya sa hukumar ta dauka cewa shirin da kamar ta yi na nufin ta amsa laifukan da ake zargin ta kamar yadda kundin ka'idojin ta yi tanada da wannan da yanzu kamar ta bi sauran kasar Rasha a jerin kasashen da ba su bin ka'idojin hana shan kwayoyi masu sauko zari a fagen wasanni na duniya to a gaida Umar Mikail da wannan rahoto to daga batun wasanni a kasar Kamaru sai mu duba lamarin siyasa a kasar Uganda inda ɗan sanda a kasar suka kama ɗan jam'iyyar adawa da magoya bayan su guda 14 a ranar litinin da ta gabata yayin da suke tattaki zuwa ofishin jagadancin Kenya da ke babban binnin kasar da nuna adawa da matakin da Nairobi ta dauka na tsare tare da ta sakiyar wasu abokan aikin su wannan kamar da kuma ta sakiyar ɗan adawan da aka yi a watan jiya ya zo ne a daidai lokacin da Kenya da magwabciyar ta Uganda ke fama da zanga zangar kin jinin gwamnati da matasa da ɗan adawa suka jagoranta kar hutun Khalifa Shehu Dokaji hukumomi a Kenya sun ce an kama ɗan jam'iyyar adawa ta Democratic Change ɗan Uganda su 36 a ranar 23 ga watan Yuli da suka je wani kwas a cewar lauyoyin su Lauyoyin su dai sun ce an dawo da wadanda ake zargi Uganda inda ake tuhumar su hudu laifin aikata ta addanci amma kwanda ya gabata wani zargi da wadanda suke karewa suka musanta Jarida Daily Monitor da sauran kafafan yada labare na Uganda su rawaito cewa a ranar litinin 14 daga cikin ƴan jam'iyyar adawar da suka hada da wasu ƴan majalisu biyu da suka yi tattaki a Kampala a yayin wata zanga zanga kan yadda aka ci zarafin abokin aikin su na daga cikin wadanda aka kama a cewar kakakin ƴan sandan kasar ta Uganda an kama su ne saboda shiga haramtaccen taro sai dai wata takarda da kamfanin dillancin labare na Reuters ya gani ya ce an gurfanar da su a gaban wata kotun magistrate inda ake tuhumar su da laifin ta da hankalin al'umma dukkan wadanda ake zargi sun musanta aikata laifin a cewar daya daga cikin jami'an kotun da bai bukaci a bayyana sunan sa ba ya ce hudu daga cikin wadanda ake zargin an sake su yayin da ake ci gaba da tsare sauran wadanda ake zargin inda kuma ake sa ran dawa da su gaban kuliya a ranar 7 ga watan agustan da muke ciki yan adawa da masu rajin kare haƙin dan adam a Uganda sun zargi gwamnatin Yoweri Museveni da amfani da tuhumatuhuma na ƙarya da rufe bakin yan adawa sai dai hukumomin gwamnatin kasar sun musanta hakan dan gida Khalifa Shehu Dokaji Yanzu kuma sai mu koma Najeriya inda babban hafsun sojin kasar Janar Christopher Musa ya ce hukumomin tsaron kasar sun kama wasu da suke da hannu wajen raba wa masu zanga zanga tutocin kasashen waje dan haifar da ya mutsi a kasar. 
ya bayyana hakan ne yayin wani taron ganawa da manema labarai na hadin guiwa da sauran shugabannin bangarorin tsaron kasar da ya gudana a Abuja ga dai karin bayanin da yayin Muhammad Buhari Fage abin da muka zauna yau muka tattauna ina san na farko mu nuna mu jama'a cewa muna tare aikin da muke yi duka mu yan kasa ne duka mu Nigerian ne duk muna son kasa ba mu son abin da zai bata muna kasa shi yasa muka zo muka zauna wannan kusan awa uku muna wannan muna son mu yi ma jama'a bayani akan abubuwan da muke ciki ruƙon da muke yi cewa mutane su bar kashe kashe wannan zanga zanga bai ita mu kan kuwa mun ga cewa wannan kwadake biyar da suka wuce mutane sun rashi sosai a duk inda suke aiki abin da ba mu so kenan shi yasa tun daga farko muka ce kada a yi amma da aka yi kuma kowa ya ga abin da ya fito mutane sun zo sun shiga kuma suna kashe kashe suna baci baci abin da ba mu so kenan shi yasa mutane kowa ya gane cewa eh ainihin maganar da muka yi tun daga farko cewa bai kamata an fara ba ya bari to shi yasa kaga yanzu a yau kusan ko ina ya shiru an ga wasu suna ta daga tuta kasashen waje me za ka iya cewa kan wannan to wannan mu ne abu ne kuma abin da muke cewa wannan wannan ba za ka zauna cikin wani kasa ka zo kana kawo tuta wani kasa ba bai da fahimci shi yasa muka ce wannan ba za mu yadda da shi ba kuma duk wanda suka yi wadannan jiya yan sanda sun bi su an kaka ma yawancin su kuma za ka kunce su ruƙon da muke yi kuma mutane kada su yadda wani ya je rude su akan yin wannan abun wannan abun ba za mu dauke shi ba kuma ba za mu yadda da shi ba ina batun masu waka suna cewa sojoji suke so a yayin wannan zanga zanga duk suna cikin wadanda suke daukan wannan tuta da suke nuna wannan yan sojoji mu da murkade ya muke su mun fi ganewa lokacin da murkade don lokacin mukin soja babu wanda ke jin dadi so ba mu son haka mu muna nan muna kare democracy muna son kuma a ci gaba da shi duk da kiran da wadanda suka shirya zanga zangar suka yi suka ce a fito wasu sun nuke yan najeriyan sun ke fitowa to mun gode musu mun gode musu kuma da sun gane kuma na tabbata su ma sun zauna sun san cewa sun yi abin da ya kamata rashin fito wansu ya rage mu jama'an da suka fito wanda kuma suka fito sun ga abin da ya faru akwai wadanda suka shigo suna aiki su ma an koma gidan su 